Well, YouTubers, the S830 keeps saying um, battery voltage error. That's not the case. I have changed the battery. This did initially run. There's nothing wrong with the battery. Indicated by the fact that I've changed the battery. It says I've got full battery. Yeah, it says I've got battery voltage error. It's not been under load, so it's not dipped, not sagged below the uh, cutoff. I've tried clearing it, it will not clear. You can change the voltage in the settings, nothing. So I'm going to change this display for a different one. Let's see if that makes any difference. Well, it looks like it's external controller time. Um, so I put an external controller on this motor. It appears the internal one is dead. I tried it on this screen, hit the standard screen. Come up low battery voltage, though it wasn't. The battery indication was saying full. But it was throwing a battery error. This one does the same, but this always shows low battery. It's actually like the LCD doesn't like work it's at 53 volts at the moment which is plenty but it will not run even with this uh, screen connected to it I've just kind of bodge wired it in I've got <laughs> it wired on this other e-bike to it just for diagnos diagnosis purposes and yeah it does seem we need to run external which means that motor is going on something else anyway um, so yeah that's uh, a bit of a crazy one for you yeah, a different display on a different bike to diagnose a different bike. It's like a sub dag meme. But yeah, oh, that was close. And he left me a. Uh, how much power is that zapped out of that? That's the other thing. These batteries here, the one with this like shark fin case, and this button typically has a blue LED. If you leave them sitting with the blue LED switch turned on, it will drain the battery cells to zero, completely bypassing any BMS that's in there, because these come with the worst BMS in the world by the looks of it um, and it will kill your battery so do not leave that button on, or make sure it doesn't sit on something that turns it on when it's in a drawer or whatever, so yeah that's always something to look out for, this is just another generic 9C clone, this needs a controller um, the one that was on it was very crispy so that was a problem with that I mean it's possible this screen's bad but you know it's, it's not going to be stopping it from running I don't think it's uh, yeah, all the throttles connected, everything's connected, um, but she does not want to run. Right, that concludes this video. Thank you for watching.